would someone drop their blankets on the floor? At in this party. Alikata, na alikata, na alikata kabisa. Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, karibu sana. My name is Gatwiri. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. And um, today, I will be doing a story time. I'll be doing a story time. Hmm. This story time anyway now before i get to do the story time a few of you asked me when exactly i will be uploading a video because um i don't exactly have a schedule and uh before today i actually did have one but um right now i think i can tell you that i will be posting twice a week i will try and post twice a week on tuesday and on thursday um at around 12 p.m I hope I can live up to that schedule. I really hope so, but I will try. I will literally try. So you've got to click that bell so that you can get notified every time I post a video and uh, you can be among the first people to watch it and maybe comment and like. Um, plus, if you haven't subscribed, how on earth do you expect to get notified? So if you haven't, please do. Don't be shy. Don't be shy subscribe and click that bell so that you can get notified every time so I this post. story time i actually remembered it a few days ago as we were talking with my mom because uh she was making fun of me because between me and my brother my is my small bro uh, before you attack me before you attack me it wasn't late i was in class one when i stopped so don't attack me do not like it's still a shame that actually my brother who is younger than me stopped but anyway that is not what you're talking about over here so yeah so this is actually a story that happened to me when i was in primary school class six and actually i was in a boarding school and it was my first year when this and this whole thing happened and uh, let alone first year it was my first term so you know also this school is i guess in kerinyaga kerugoya kerinyaga kerugoya Jaiso. Eh. So um heh. So you know when you get to school you're always given a guide to like maybe show you around, show you what you need to do or what you don't need to do. Vitukaizo. So I was given a guide who was in class seven. Mm -hmm. So I don't think I don't remember if this particular person that I'm that I want to talk about was my guide. I'm not exactly sure. Like in a look a bit so let us just let me just jump into the story itself so um i was taken to the dorm the first day i was taken to the dorm and my parents assisted me to like settle down and prepare my things and make my bed nini, 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 nini. and then my bedmate or my decker mate i'm actually not sure if she was my guide i can't actually remember because it was a long time 2012 to 2020 to around eight years ago so um, let us just let us just say she was my guy. Let us just say it because I used to refer to her a lot of things if I wanted to know something. So um, the first week went along very well, and the second week also went along very well. Now the third week, I remember it was the third week because it was uh, it was like a week before we went for midterm. Yeah, yeah. Actually, it was a week before we went for midterm. So a little thing about myself is when I sleep, if I haven't tucked in my beddings, if I haven't tucked in, as in if I am munalpata, kama sijajitak ndani ya beddings zangu, I'll either find them um, at the end of the bed or at the corner of the bed or on the floor. So what happened is on this particular night, I didn't even put pajamas on. Um, I slept with a gown, the night gown. I actually had one gown so i put on a gown that day because i guess i'd washed my pajamas because i honestly sleep with my pajamas i don't use a night gown so that day but that day i used a night gown <laughs> and i am a very and i am a very heavy sleeper i i hope sleeper is a word yeah so i'm a very heavy sleeper mimi na usingizi hivi kama corona na china hivi so I used to be among the, not the last, I won't say the last, I used to be among the the people before the last <laughs> to wake up, if that makes any sense. So I guess I didn't live asleep, but when I woke up, my gown was wet. Yeah, 
pick on was wet and my blanket and my bed cover were on the floor so when I woke up and found that my gown was wet, I was like, I quite dry sweat through the night. I'm what is happening. Because I hardly sweat at night. So I was like, I what is happening? Then I found it very weird that the the wetness was on one side of my body. It was on one of the sides. I don't remember what side, but it was on, on, on one side. And uh, as I was trying to make my bed, I noticed that my sheet has a stain. So I started panicking. Nikozileza, okay, kwa nini nimejikojolea leo? He? Ni imeendelea? What is happening? Did I just wet my bed? So I was shocked. I was really shocked. But then I didn't feel as if my panties were wet. So nikozileza, nilikojoa na tumbo. Nilikojoa na mdomo, nilikojoa aje. Because this was not sweat. This was obviously, obviously urine. So kwanza before ni load, I sat down on my bed of like, I, what is happening? Alafu sani kifikiria, no nika notice my bedmate's bed doesn't have her mattress there. But first, it didn't even hit me. It didn't hit me that maybe her sheet was the one that was on me. But this day, there was something wrong. Just yezi kwani mejiko jolea? Kwani? Anyway, so when she, she had... The time I was waking, by the time I was waking up, haku hapa, alikuwa menda kuoga. So when she came back, nikamuliza, nikamuliza, ay, bedmate, kwani what happened today? Haka niuliza nini, kambia, uh, my nightgown is wet and my sheets and I haven't, I haven't messed on my bed. I haven't done any shit on my bed. And she was like, ay, how am I supposed to know? Ah, uh, and I actually got worried now, I was like, ay. Then I then I asked her, are you sure your urine didn't just go through your mattress to me? And she became all defensive and had not even accused her, I just mentioned it. Wool up nigga, wool up, wool up, wool up, just wool up. Vinka muliza sasa ninu na teta na disi jasema ni wewe. And then I, I tried to tell her that my panties weren't even wet, nothing else was wet apart from my gown and my sheets. Akasema, <laughs> This is actually the part that shocked me. She said, I woke up in the middle of the night, changed my panties, dropped my blankets on the floor. Why would someone drop their blankets on the floor? At this part of... Guys, I almost cried. Did I? Did I? I think I almost... I think I actually cried because I mean she became all defensive and then now her friends were there they were trying to to help her nini 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 but me I knew I used to I I I very much knew I was 100% sure I was not the one because me I don't even remember waking up at night to change my panties I I'm changing my panties and then I leave my gown on see I didn't get any change kila kitu na didn't kasa kulala Alikata na alikata na alikata kabisa. And we actually ended up in an argument. And since I knew her mattress, nilikuwa na jobli mattress ya kinaka, nilienda kwenye, kwenye, where people used to maybe lay their mattresses for them to dry. Nilienda hapo na nikangalia. And imagine you guys, see, there's always like a patch there. Okay, I feel so bad talking about this. But this is always like a patch there. When I turned the mattress, the other side, nilikuwa pia na kapatch. So me, I knew she was the one. And I really felt sick. I mean, anyway, so I went, I just went to the shower and took a shower. And I guess I cried in the shower. I think I cried in the shower. Because, what? Well, that was a lot to take in for a three week old girl who just went into a boarding school. I mean, that was a lot. That was mad a lot. So, what I did is, so in this school, um, the matron used to go by the name Housekeeper. So, and she was the one who was in charge. Uh, she was the one who was in charge. Um, it was a dorm. It was all sanitation. Nini, nini. So I went to her. I went to her and I told her I want to exchange dorms because you are not allowed to change dorms without informing her. So when, I, when she asked me why I wanted to change dorms, first, I am no snitch. Second, I actually felt so embarrassed to say that, so I did not tell her. Because I was to so I actually didn't tell. I just told her that I don't feel comfortable 
and she told me that wasn't enough to exchange me to another dorm but she will talk to my dorm captain so that i could maybe exchange with someone to another bed you guys i have a fear of heights i honestly have a fear of heights i have a fear of heights we repel men hey by the way i'm literally afraid of heights so when i actually found someone to exchange with i looked for someone who was on a upper on the upper bed cuz eh i was not about to sleep on a lower bed again nah mm -mm. i'm literally afraid of heights but nikasema liwe liwalo eh silali chini tena kwa vile itakuwa kani kuanguka hili nianguke aki hili nianguke why so I exchanged and I went to an upper bed and I guess from then I've always been sleeping on the top bed of a decker. Always. Class 6 from there now. Class 6, class 7, class 8, form 1, form 2, form 3, form 4. I have never, never wanted to sleep on the lower bed. Because actually this reminds me, this reminds me. There was such a situation in high school in form 1. In the, in the same cube that I was in a friend of mine. But sorry for another day. So yeah, that was my first primary boarding school experience and I have never forgotten it. Hey. But anyway, anyway, we are past that and I don't even hold any grudge and I hope she doesn't see this video. Even if I've not mentioned her name, I just hope she doesn't see this video. Let me know if you want to hear another story time from me. I will leave my socials over here and you can also comment down below. Do not forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye!